you're doing this on a Friday. So we're gonna do a nice energizing 30 minute flow just to get you moving and feeling good this morning. So we're gonna get started um, seated. We won't be here for too long. I just want you to get comfortable for a moment. Hands on the lap, palms facing down or up, whatever feels good for you. And just become aware of your breath. Just noticing what it's doing. Without trying to change it, just noticing. Noticing how you're feeling this morning, again, without trying to change it, without judging or labeling, just becoming aware. And then starting to deepen the breaths. Feeling the air all the way down into the diaphragm. Feel the chest rise, the shoulders rise. And as you exhale, feel the shoulders fall, the chest fall, and the belly button fall into the spine. Inhaling deeply, exhaling completely, using the full capacity of the lungs. Letting go of the week, letting go of anything that might happen today, just becoming fully present for this next half hour and enjoying this time to move. One more breath in and out. Now taking a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, ah, sigh it out. Again, in through the nose. Out through the mouth, ah, sigh it out. Last time, a deep breath in through the nose, the deepest breath you've taken today. Hold at the top, seal the lips, feel the energy pull all the way up to the crown chakra. And exhale through the nose, relax the shoulders. Bring the hands to prayer, bow the forehead to the hands, blinking open the eyes and enjoy your practice. All right, guys, we're gonna come straight into down dog today. You can come onto the toes first, stretch out the toes a little bit, push the hips back, push the fingers far forward, and then lift the hips up. Let's walk one heel down and the other. Push the ground away, wiggling the hips back and forward. Just do whatever feels good here. Just slowly wiggling the body around, really pushing the ground away, wrapping the shoulders, lifting through the hip creases, stretching out the backs of the legs, belly button to spine. And then you're going to inhale, rock forward to high plank. As you exhale, you're going to lower into hovering tabletop, so knees lower, just an inch off the ground. Then you're going to inhale, lift the hips to cow like the back. And then you're going to exhale, push the hips back, lift all the way up to downward facing dog. So we're kind of going for a spinal wave. So do a few times with me. Sorry, we had a mirror shatter and I'm just finding like random shards of glass everywhere. <laughs> all right, so inhale, rock forward, high plank. Exhale, hovering tabletop. Inhale to cow pose. Exhale, hips back, down dog. Again, inhale, rock forward, high plank. Exhale, hovering tabletop. Inhale to cow. Exhale, down dog. So let's just go a few times with your own breath, guys. Try to feel the breath to the movement. Inhale, plank. Exhale, hovering. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Moving with the breath, guys. Flowing with the breath, warming up the spine. Last time, inhale, high plank. Exhale, hovering. Inhale, cow. Exhale, down dog. This time, inhale, high plank. Exhale, hovering. And lower the knees all the way to the ground. Sit back on the heels. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to low back. Inhale, lift the chest. Pull the shoulders back. Lift the heart. Baby back bend. Pull the shoulders back away from the ears. Lift through the heart space. Beautiful. Exhale, come back down, hands down. Tabletop position. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg floats behind you, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open up that hip, scorpion dog, really. Open up that hip, do a couple circles with the knee. And then back to your scorpion dog. 
Shift the right hand forward a little bit, maybe tensing onto the fingertips. Push the ground away and really open that right side body. Maybe looking under that right armpit. Exhale, bring the hand back down. Inhale. And then exhale, right foot to outside of right hand. Wide lunge. Wiggle yourself around a bit here. Inhale, you're going to straighten that front leg. Reach the right arm up. Coming into a twist. And then exhale, you're going to curl that right hand to the outside of the left pinky finger. You can come down onto the knee if that feels good. Inhaling, shifting back. And exhaling, curling. Last time, inhale, open up, twist, and exhale, curl. Beautiful, hands come down, tuck the back toes, lift the hips back down, or facing dog. We're gonna inhale, rock forward, high plank. Exhale, lower, hovering tabletop. Lower the knees down, tuck the toes, inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Baby back bend, hands to low back, or cactus. Lift the heart, shoulders away from the ear. Inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, hands come down, hips back, downward facing dog. Same thing with the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts, bend the knee, open up that hip. Three big circles. With the breath. And then back to your scorpion dog, really pushing the ground away. Maybe you reach the left fingertips forward a little bit, push back into your down dog, and then really open up that hip. Maybe you look up your the left armpit, really feel that left side body open up. Then slide the left hand back in line with the right. As you exhale, left foot to outside of left hand, drop the back knee, or keep it lifted. Inhale, straighten that front leg, left arm reaches up. Exhale, curl, fingertips to reach outside of right pinky. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl. Last time, inhale, open. And exhale, curl. Hands come down, tuck the back toes, and push the hips back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward, high plank. Exhale, hovering, lower the knees. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus, baby back bend. Really push the hips forward, squeeze the butt to open up the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down, hovering tabletop. And then lift the hips down, your facing dog. Inhale, right leg floats behind you, scorpion dog. Option to flip your dog, coming into wild thing. Toes drop behind, dip the hips for a moment. And then as you exhale, Lift the hips up, stretching towards the front of the mat. Exhale, dip the hips back down. Hands come down, right knee into chest, and then lower the foot in between the hands. Drop the back knee. <laughs> Excuse me. Tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes, and push the hips forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Tuck the back toes, exhale, all the way up. Awesome, guys. Pump the heart forward, inhale. Exhale, rise up onto the right toes. Warrior three. Right hip shifts back, left hip shifts down. Shoulders pull back, heart forward. Beautiful, guys. Wobbly this morning. Exhale, hands down, left leg lift, standing split. You can bend that knee, wiggle around a bit, good morning. Squeeze that left glute, keep the leg lifted. Maybe you want to bend it and straighten. Then slowly bend into the right knee. Left toes go way, way back, 45 degrees. Reach the arms up overhead, warrior one. Shift the right hip back, left hip forward, and reach the arms up overhead. Bend deeply into the right knee, push the outside edge of the left foot into the mat, and scissor those hips. Deep breath in. Exhale, interlock the hands behind the back, pull shoulders away from the ears. Deep breath in. Exhale, humble warrior. Shoulders back, chest lowers to inside of right thigh. Keep pulling right hip back and left hip forward. 
deep breath in and deep breath out. Awesome, guys, one more breath out. Inhale and reach the arms back up. Exhale, hands down. Pull up the front foot off the mat. Push it straight back, three-legged chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Shoulders pull back or cobra if that feels good. Pull the heart through. Exhale, pull through the core. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Out through the nose. Let's take a little spine wave. Inhale, rock forward, head plank. Exhale, hovering, lift the hips, downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, hovering. Lift the hips, push them back. Downward dog. Second side. Inhale, left leg floats behind, three legged. Bend the knee, open up that hip, scorpion dog. Staying here for breath and really working on that openness in the left hip, engaging that left hamstring and glute. Or if you want more, coming onto the right ball mound. Flipping the dog, left toes drop behind you, sinking the hips for a moment, and then pushing into left ball mounted outside of right foot, reaching for the room in front of you, coming into wild thing. Exhale, dip the hips, left hand comes down, left knee into chest, inhale. Exhale, drop the left knee, sorry, left foot in between the hands, and then drop the right knee. Take a moment. Squeeze the right glute, push the hips down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Tuck the back toes. Exhale, high lunge. Beautiful. Open up the heart. Feel the openness in the right hip. Deep breath in here, guys. Exhale, pump the heart forward. Come onto the left foot, right leg lifts behind you. Warrior three. Squeeze that right glute to keep it like lifted. Heart forward, shoulders back. One more breath in. Exhale, standing split. Right leg lifts. You can bend that right knee a little bit if you want and then re-straighten. Whatever feels good for you, for you guys here. Grab onto that left ankle. One more breath up, pull the belly button in. And then deeply into left knee, right toes go way, way back. Warrior one. Reach the arms up overhead. Awesome, guys. We're moving this morning. So shift the left hip back, right hip forward. Outside of your right foot is pushed against in the mat. And reach the arms up overhead. And breathe. Awesome, guys. Interlock hands behind the back. Do opposite grip that we did before. Shoulders pull back, lift the heart, inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. And breathe. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen. Awesome, guys. One more breath out. Inhale, reach the arms back overhead. Exhale, hands down, pluck the front foot off the mat, and then push it back, three-legged plank, three-legged chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, pull the heart through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Awesome, guys. Let's do a couple spinal waves, if that feels good. Inhale, rock forward, high plank. Exhale, bend the knees, hips back, down dog. Awesome, guys. Inhale forward. Exhale, hovering. Inhale, cow like hip back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go one more. Inhale forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right, guys. Inhale, right leg floats behind you, three legged dog. Bend the knee, open up that hip. Exhale, right knee to nose, lower the foot in between the hands. Right arm reaches up, inhale, twist. Strong to the core, pull right hip back, left hip forward. Exhale, lift the torso up, stay in that twist, exalted warrior. Stay bent in that right knee, 
left glute is squeezed. Reach the right arm forward, inhale. Exhale, pull it back, look towards the right fingertips. Then right hand down, left hand up, exalted warrior. Pull that right shoulder back. Look underneath the left arm, take deep breath in. Exhale, reach the right arm up. Deep breath in here. Exhale, come forward onto the right foot, bring all the way forward into the right foot, and then step the left foot forward. And then inhale, reach the arms to prayer. Again, sweat on here, guys. So you're on the right foot. Inhale, reach the arm up overhead, right arm. Exhale, left hand behind you. Thumb pointing back. Maybe you're just bending the knee and working on that balance. If you want more, maybe you grab onto the inside of the left foot, outside of the left foot, or inside of the left foot if you have that mobility in the shoulder. Reach to the right fingertips, deep breath in. Now kick into the hand. Exhale, coming into dancer's pose. So kick the foot into the hand, kick, kick, kick. And then when you feel like you can't kick anymore, then you can allow the torso to come forward, reaching the arm forward. Breathe. Slowly come back up. Reach the arms up overhead. Left knee to chest. And exhale, forward fold. Awesome, guys. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Hand to mat. Step or float your feet back, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome, guys. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Left leg floats behind. Scorpion dog, bend the knee, open up the hip. Exhale, knee to nose. Lower the foot in between the hands. Low lunge. Scissor those hips. Awesome, guys. Left arm peels up. Coming into a twist. Look towards those left fingertips, pull the belly button in, strong through the core, sit through those hips. As you exhale, lift the torso up, staying in the twist. Awesome, guys, so shifting. Right hip back, left hip forward. Reach the left arm forward, then peel it back, looking towards the left fingertips. And then exhale, left hand down, right hand up. Re straighten that right leg if it feels better. Really feel that openness in the right hip. And then look under right armpit. Peel left shoulder back. Lean back, breathe. Awesome, guys. Slowly reach your left arm up, turn to face front of mat. Exhale, lean the heart forward, weight in left foot. Inhale, step forward, chair pose. Just a baby chair for a moment, and then stand up on the left foot. Awesome, guys. So, all the weights in the left foot, right foot is lifted, left arm comes up and back. Right arm down and back. All the way down that left foot, feel that energy up the leg. And then maybe you grab onto that right foot. Kick the foot into the hand, open up the chest. Peel that right shoulder back. Really, really kick, keeping the chest lifted. And then once you get to your max, then you can slowly start to tilt forward. Kicking the foot into the hand, keeping that gaze, that drishti six inches in front of you on the ground and then slowly coming back. Reaching the right knee into the chest, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. <clears throat> inhale, rise up to the tippy toes. Bend the knees, lift the chest. And we do kind of a toes down for a moment, just lifting the heart forward. And then exhale, forward fold. Bring the feet so they're mat distance apart. Again, inhale to half lift. And then exhale, sit the booty down, coming into last, malasana. So you can push the elbows into the knees. Lift the heart, pull the shoulders back, wiggle around a little bit. Inhale, lift the chest, shoulders pull back, elbows to knees. Exhale, right hand comes down, left arm peels up and twists. Deep breath in here. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, forward fold. 
Awesome guys, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down onto the toes. Bend the knees, lift the heart forward again. Inhale. Maybe the arms come out this time. Exhale, slowly start to push the knees forward. Lift the heart, squeeze the inner thighs together. Strong through the core. And then exhale, slowly lower the knees down, coming onto the knees. Awesome, guys. So tucking the toes, if that feels good for you. High up on the knees. We're going to sit back on the heels. Reach the... So you're going to sit back on the heels. Reach the right arm over and around. Left arm over. And then inhale, come back up. Sorry, maybe it's better on the tops of the toes for right now. So coming around, down, up. Left hand comes back. Reach back and then maybe lift the hips. Moving with the breath, around, inhale, down, exhale, maybe you lift the hips, coming a little bit higher, down, around, inhale, again, slowly with your own breath for a few rounds, you guys, inhale, around, exhale, lift, one more time each side, just moving with the breath. You can reach for the floor behind the foot, or you can reach for the ankle. One more side. Around and up. And then all the way back to center. Reach the arms up overhead. So if you come onto the tops of the feet, maybe tuck the toes back under. So imagine there's a block in between the inner thighs. Squeeze the butt, push the hips forward. Baby back bend as we did at the beginning. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, cactus. So always option to bring the hands to the low back. Pulling the shoulders back, elbows in, and lifting the heart. So you're there, or either with me. Shoulders down, elbows in. Lift the heart, squeeze the butt, and then allow the chest to open. And then slowly rising back up. Awesome, guys. So... Coming into camel pose, few options here. Option reaching the arms up, cactus, and then leaning back if you feel confident. Option having the hands to the low back, and then if you feel confident, reaching back. Or option to come back on the heels, making sure the core is strong, squeezing the inner thighs together, lifting the heart and the deep breath in, pushing the hips forward into camel. So there's a few different ways to go. It's whatever way feels most comfortable for you. But when you're doing camel, you want to make sure that you're not thinking about leaning back. You're thinking about lifting your heart up and you want to get that engagement in the back. So we're engaging the back side body to lift and open the front side body. So don't force it if you feel any pinch or pain in the low back. All right, so whatever way feels good for you. We'll do two rounds. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, lean back. Maybe reach back for the ankles. Pushing the hips forward, squeezing the butt a little bit. Shoulders come back, maybe the head drops back. And then slowly coming up, one hand to the hips. The other head comes last always. We're not going to go down yet. We're going to do one more round. Take a moment. Just notice how that feels. Energizing back bend. <sighs> All right, guys, take it up. Second round, if you know you want more, you can create a little bit more space by bringing the tops of the feet on the mat. Or your hands are here, and you're working on that strength in the low back. So, or sorry, the low back and the mid and upper back, pulling the elbows in, up, um, shoulders back, and the chest, all right? So whatever version you're doing again, inhale, exhale, lean back, lean back, do the rock the way. Maybe you reach for the heels. If you have the heels, strong with the core, push the hips forward, maybe the head comes back. Taking a couple breaths there, and then slowly coming up, 
one hand first and then the other head comes last. And then bringing the forehead to the mat. Hands down by the side, allow the shoulders to roll forward. Grab the backs of the heels, knees are together. Bring the forehead to the knees, crown of the head to the mat. Pull on the heels, lift the hips, and then at the same time, pull the shoulders back, stretching out the back of the neck. I can't put the crown of my head to the ground because I have a massive bun. One more breath out here. Pull on the heels, pull the shoulders back, pull the belly button in, lift the hips, and then release. Awesome, guys. Come on to the hands, slowly roll up, spread the knees nice and wide, and reach the arms out long. Come on. Time goes by fast, doesn't it? Great child's pose. Awesome, guys. Slowly coming up. Sweeping the legs around. Right knee into the chest. Give it a squeeze. Wrap the left arm around the knee. Bring the right arm behind you. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist over the right shoulder. Drop the shoulders down. Keep the chin up nice and long. Slowly back to center. Allow that right knee to fall out. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold over that left leg. Deep breath in through the nose. And out. One more breath out. Maybe you twist a little. And then slowly back to center. Awesome, guys. Switch legs. Left knee and give it a squeeze. Wrap that right arm around. Left hand behind you. Nice long spine to inhale. And exhale, looking over that left shoulder. Pulling the shoulders back. Keeping the chin parallel to the ground if you can. Slowly back to center. Left knee falls out to the side. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And exhale, fold over that left leg. Inhale to half lift. And exhale, fold. Breathe here. And then slowly rising back up. Bring the knee into the chest, straighten it out. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And exhale, lower all the way down to the mat, guys. Bring the knees into the chest. Give them a nice big hug. Thank your body for bringing you through this practice. And then as you exhale, release everything down for your final Shavasana. We're gonna keep this energy with us that we've created. We've done a lot of heart opening, back bends, energizing, so we should be ready to start the day. So we're gonna have a not too long energizing Shavasana. Just closing down the eyes, allow your body to soak up all the energy that it's just created. Feel the energy coursing through your body, that fresh, new energy. With your inhales, just feel that new energy circulating through your body. And with your exhale, just releasing any leftover old stagnant energy. Allow yourself these next few minutes. I know when you're doing a class online, sometimes you can think, that, oh, I need to go, I don't need to do the Shavasana, but the Shavasana is the most important part. We're just allowing our body to soak up everything that we've just done. We're allowing a little bit of space for our minds. So if you can, just stay with me for the next couple minutes. And if the mind begins to wander to the day and what you have to do, just bring it back to the breath. Allow yourself and give yourself this time it's not much, just a minute or two, to really soak up all the benefits of this practice and allow your mind to soak up the benefits. Inhale. 
inhaling that fresh new energy now. On the exhale, that new energy circulates in the body. Have a beautiful day, guys.